I'm very excited about WhatsApp's own shop product as an extension of Facebook shop. Uh, this came out uh, a week ago. It's available. They've announced it before, but it, uh, they, uh, it's now available uh, as of last week. Already today, so much commerce takes place via WhatsApp. Uh, they message businesses directly. Do you have this product? Do you deliver to this area? What's your exchange policy? And so on. So now having a structured format to do so is a big deal. Plus, they're adding, uh, they're adding ratings and reviews to WhatsApp and Instagram and others. When I, when I buy a product today from Amazon, I always look at the ratings, the comments to figure out if this is product, uh, is something for me to buy or not, and if there are delivery and the quality issues on the product. I don't usually look at the seller's rating. Sometimes I do, but mostly the comments tell me everything. So bring, bringing that into WhatsApp and Instagram will also contribute to this being a, a better uh, shopping product. Plus, Insta plus they're going to be adding Instagram images and video reviews about the product, similar to what you see uh, now with uh, Amazon. Also, uh, Facebook is doing audio. So with audio, uh, they've been ready for audio for a while. And they've launched their Clubhouse competitor um, recently. And uh, I was asked to talk about this on TV recently. So the question that I was asked was, what does Facebook have to gain from uh, a product like this, like an audio product? My answer to that was user retention. Right? As long as we remain within the Facebook ecosystem, we contribute to it. So what they measure are time spent in the app, how much ads are we consuming, and so on. So as long as we're within that Facebook universe, contributing to the time spent and the ad consumption, all is right in the Facebook universe. The growth of voice trend now that we're seeing reminds me a lot of stories. So Snapchat had their stories product a while back. And then Facebook introduced that into Instagram. And then you have that in Facebook, the Blue app, uh, WhatsApp. Uh, LinkedIn have that product. Twitter have that product. So stories. Uh, came into so many different products. I, I see this now with voice. So you have Clubhouse is a very popular format. And, I, and that already has come to Facebook, Spotify, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Uh, so uh, there's a joke uh, that stories uh, uh, at the story's time. Now uh, I, I see the same joke, which is, what's next? Will Excel have their own audio product? Will Calculator have their own audio product? Amazon is a marketplace. They have products and services. They've had in the UAE a handyman service, cleaning service, and now they've added the rental cars. The service is still early in basic format. Uh, so when you order a service, uh, the third-party company reaches out to you over WhatsApp or a call asking for more details and a location and so on. Now, standalone apps, they can do everything in the app. So when you place an order to clean a house or a handyman or so on, everything happens within the app. So the confirmations, the payments, the messaging, the communication, all of that. With the marketplace of Amazon, it's more of connecting you with those third-party third -party merchants for them uh, to reach out. Now, what the advantage is from a consumer perspective is if you look at other services, when they've joined the Amazon marketplace, you have uh, a way to compare multiple prices in the market in one place. Uh, that helps contribute to uh, competition and driving uh, prices down. There are some details about uh, you know, buying additional insurance. So when I rent a car, I always ask for the extra insurance that covers more things, just in case, just for peace of mind. And it's usually a small incremental addition. Small details like this are still not very clear uh, to me how best to do, but uh, it's, it's not a big deal. Next, we talk about Google's 3D product. And through that glass, you're seeing another person on the other side. Hi, can you see me? Say hi to Auntie. Oh my gosh, I love you. Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> so you look I have two offices, one in Dubai and one in Beirut. And we've always collaborated together uh, long before the pandemic in terms of uh, the, the tools we use internally or uh, the habit of doing this. So when the pandemic hit, we were better positioned than others. We still had some adjustment to do from a tool, tool wise and habit wise, but we were ready, uh, readier um, than others. Even we have some new recruits that to some of them, uh, even though they're at the, you know, 
we tend to be young. Uh, they struggle a little bit with the tech part. I mean, we, we, we sit down very early with them saying, look, that's the default of all of the tools we use every day. We have a series of eight to 10 tools that we use daily that you need to be comfortable to learn how to use. And we up our training to make sure they, they, they're using that. Uh, that's a long way for me to say is I'm always looking at ways to better collaborate from an, from an office perspective. And the Google product that I saw here uh, resonated with me where you have a 3D uh, video view uh, of, of each other. So they have this now already in some of their offices in experimental way, but it's a way to better uh, collaborate with uh, uh, different members. And I like this, it's, it's refreshing. Even this show, BizRap, uh, came across because I was I was done every time I'm thinking of giving a talk with a PowerPoint and me speaking, I feel something choking me here. So I, I because I've done so many of those and I felt I need there needs to be some I couldn't deliver those anymore or consume those anymore. I felt I needed a different way of delivering this. So this is why the the, the 3D product of uh, Google uh, was of interest to me.